step back in. Uh, some other things we went over were uh, one knee breaks. I think it's also called scissor. Start moving up the knees. You take one leg out, put it down, and then you get back in. Uh, the movement for this is you put your leg out to the side and you're pointing your toe and you push back and forth to really push the hoop in the other direction. Um, we also went over a lot of foot moving. So we went over how when you get down the ground, how to sneak your foot up to replace your hand and then moving your foot in a small circle to keep momentum. We went over how to switch it. Same way when you're placing your hand and also how to recover. So when the hoop starts to fall down, get up, push it up to the other foot. <laughs> Except not like that. Um, we also went over a uh, more advanced start of it when it's on your foot. You can turn onto your side and then turn it back and go into a downward dog. Um, the easiest way to practice this was to literally have you sit with your foot in the air, pretending that you're like hooping, having someone grab onto your foot, and then you turn over it while you're still holding onto your foot so you can keep it as vertical as possible. Uh, we also went into how to get into a candlestick uh, while you're hooping. So arching your back helps in a couple ways to get into it. Arch your back, this support your hips for your hands, and get into the candlestick. And then there's a couple of ways that you can do this with the hoop going. I like to do it when the hoop is here, so when it's as far away from me as possible, it's going to lift up so that all the force kind of goes away from you. The class was pretty much just a sort of skill share. So um, we also like we talked about how to do different roles while you're foot hooping, um, which I can't do yet. I'm working on. Uh, but that was pretty much all that I covered, and it was a lot of fun. I, I really liked the skill share uh, and teaching, and it worked really well. So.